How to install Windows 101 with NZ Builder. Let's talk about everything to do with Windows start to finish. The journey of Windows to getting in here starts well before at planning stage. At the planning stage we list out a window schedule, it's usually the very last page of the working drawings. On that schedule it has every single window and door that we're going to be using on the exterior of our build. That has some important details, it has the height of the window, the head height, it has the width. If you've watched our framing video you'll know that windows aren't actually load bearing. So what we need to do is take the load of whatever is above the window and put a lintel in there in the framing and send it to either side. Then window guys come and measure and they will check the width and height of everything and that's a perfect time to pick up any issues make any changes. Me personally on my build that was when I deleted a couple of windows, I raised a couple of window sills, I changed a sliding door to a window. If you are going to make any joinery changes the optimum time is framing and then your window guy will, or girl will come and measure up according to what you've got framed up. They then do a production sheet, the production sheet gets sent to the factory, now the factory will cut and order all of the aluminium and glass, we use aluminium in the majority of our builds. So then we need to do a couple of things to the window opening on site. The main one is that we need to tape it up with flashing tape, think of flashing tape, as an extra layer of protection. If for some reason water got behind all of the other layers we do, it would then hit this flashing tape and it would ideally get directed out and onto the paper and out the cavity. That would be the most ideal scenario. I mean the most ideal scenario would be that you don't get any water in there in the first place. We have to tape the window sill and 200 mils up either side and that has to cover the entire sill and then get folded over the face. If you're not using protector wrap that you can stretch around the corners you have to butterfly the sides and then we do a 200 mil in either top corner as well and if we're on a cavity we'll put what's called a wands bar w-a-n-z wands bar I, I personally call them wands bars I think it's easier than saying wands window association of new zealand so random so we install the window association of new zealand bar for extra support you can find out more about that on this brands thing here supporting heavy windows Brands puts out a ton of good pictures and good bulletins, really detailed bits about like what is a WANS bar. A WANS just sounds so much better. WANS? WANS? WANS. Let's call it WANS. Because you've got this 20mm cavity, your aluminium framing is hanging out so much more than it used to. So in the old days we used to do what's called direct fix. Direct fix is when you nail your weatherboard directly to your framing, direct fix. Now we do what's called a cavity and that's a 20mm timber strip, this is an entire another video, but that means everything else gets pushed out another 20mm. So your window, all of that glass and aluminium is hanging out and relying so much more on the timber reveal. So we put in this bar and that takes all the weight and spreads the, the load of the sill evenly and ties it back to the frame. So this is the timber reveal here in majority of builds, again this is pre-primed pine. We have done this as like a remove finish depending on what's going into the floor or sometimes we do no reveal on the floor. You can make these out of whatever timber you want but again majority of builds will paint this and the architrave that will get painted that's your trim colour. 99% of the time they are attached to the window when they come to site. You know as a builder we can take them out and adjust them if we need. There's been instances where I've taken a second hand joinery unit, taken the reveals out, made a bigger one. Basically they're just stapled to the aluminium framing at a preset location. The staples are on this side of the joinery, that's how it's all joined together. So your windows are made and they're ready for delivery. What next? First and foremost, you need to make sure that your site's clean and tidy. You gotta think about like, right, we're lifting a big heavy unit. How are we gonna get that through the scaffold? What's our main access? So we've started using these Worth screws for uh, fixing our joinery. Make sure you've got a supply of that. Whether you're using jolts or screws, make sure that all of your window openings are ready. Yeah, make sure you've got like your drills ready your impacts ready and make sure you got the manpower or woman power girls can lift windows too so a little baby window like this we could lift it in in one piece everything in it it's good to go one person on the outside 
lifts it up. One person on the inside fixes it off. If it's a larger unit, you might need two people on the outside holding it. There's a door over there that needed four people. We also took the door off. So there's some tricks like that. If it's really heavy, we'll do what's called sight glazing. So we just get the frame sent, and that's reasonably light. We lift that in, make sure that's mint, and then they come and put the glass in on site later. We can use suction cups on the glass, or we can use little grabbers, which grab onto the reveal, or just a good old bicep curl. Then we would screw them in. It's important to note and follow the fixing guide as per 3604. What I think is best practice when you are first putting your window in the opening is to get it reasonably centered and plumb and level right off the bat. Some builders feel the pressure of the delivery driver in the rush and they'll just go around and tack everything and that works but you can get unstuck later on where you've tacked it in the wrong place and now you need to move it 10 mils this way or 10 mils that way and it just means you have to come back and do everything a second time. If you can get it as close to perfect as possible the first time, you're not leaving a job that you have to come back and do later. So use the approved fixings, fix your window off, plumb, level, centered. And the other thing to think about is before you put all your windows in, make sure your head height is the same the whole way around. Sometimes we've seen it in pre-nail frames or even self-built frames, there's minor variations. And so, you know, you wanna work from your head height down, not your sill height up. If you want to see more of these videos, go ahead, click subscribe, help us crack 10k subs. I'm off.